2018 Super Aeronautique GS22. This thing's in jet black metal flake, looking hot in the sun. All the way down the side, main stripe, forward stripe, and accent on this 22. Uh, mystic white hull bottom. All new Sahara sand interior on this GS. With the combo of the Mocha Sea Deck. Mystic white tower with the set of JL 8.8 .8 tower speakers. Our uh, Nautique Bimini top with surf pockets. We went ahead and threw on our 35% window tent. And man, does she look good on the water. A lot of good uh, lines on this GS. And uh, as you can see, as the sun rolls down the side there, the metal flake looks amazing in the sunlight. So uh, let's go ahead and hop on into the interior on this thing. Get a look at all the options and features on this. And then we'll get some running footage for you. All right, guys, on into the interior of this 2018 Super Aeronautique GS22. As you can see, we got the all new Sahara Sand main and uh, texture vinyl on here. Got Onyx Black seat boxing and piping as well. And the Sahara Sand accents uh, with Mocha Brown Sea Deck. So, nice classy look on this GS22. Get a little bit closer, you see our textured vinyl there. But uh, kept it simple and clean on this one. And I think it looks really awesome. This is, uh, again, our new color for this year. It's gonna be super easy to keep this stuff clean. So, big positive on that. Um, on the back, we got uh, the reverse seats on the back of the GS model with their cup holders. Um, seat deck on the platform and all around the steps here. Awesome layout on the GS models where you're really not going to have to walk on any vinyl. Um, kind of maneuvering around the gunnels and the swim pad of the boat. Got the ballast pumps cranking on here currently. But uh, let's get a good look at that storage. Ballast sits under the floor here, uh, as it does throughout the entire boat, opening up a ton of room for, for storage in the lockers in the back. GS22's got 2,250 pounds of ballast. We pop up our walkthrough here. You'll see the ZR4 motor from PCM. This is 409 horsepower. It's the base motor on the GS22, and it's perfect. Um, things gonna handle anything you throw at it. Super reliable, and plenty of power whether you're running it just a couple people in the boat or a full boatload with uh, loaded up ballast in this thing. So close that up for us and get on into the rest of the interior here. You're gonna have your cup holders running through the uh, below the combing pads there on either side with our four JL audio speakers on the main cockpit with two up front. Let's go through our storage. Right behind the driver's seat, if you flip it up here, got the drop-in cooler that sits right down there. And a trash can by flipping up this smaller seat cushion there. Cooler's a good size as well. Got our uh, boat books in there at the moment, but uh, plenty of room for beverages. And uh, if you decide to get the cooler out of there, it does have communicating storage onto the back of the boat where we have the, the full cover stored at the moment. Again, communicating storage on through the back on the starboard side, or the port side rather. Um, and underneath we have, right next to our batteries, the battery maintenance system. So this is gonna keep your stuff, um, your, your boat charged up, you can run an extension cord out, plug it right in, you got a built-in battery manager. Underneath, we're gonna have the uh, dual battery set up clips back in take a step back here in a moment so we got the port side lean back on here as well so a little bit of transformable seating action on the GS22 um, makes it really nice for if you're out surfing and wakeboarding with friends you're not having to cock your neck backwards to look and watch um, love seat flips up 
underneath here, get these life jackets out of the way. See our 10 inch JL sub and all of our JL amps mounted up top and plenty of room for storage in here. You'll see the air dam slides in nicely on the sidewall. Um, awesome spot for gear on the GS series. Got our ballast full at the moment. Real quick, before I move over to the dash, I forgot to point out, you have the removable center seat on the GS, so you can walk on down into the interior without stepping on your seat pad if you choose to do that. Clips right back in like so. Let's move over to our dash here. I'm actually gonna get into the shore a little bit here on the river. We'll back up. So. Uh, Link screen on uh, the Link Panerai screen this year. Um, same setup as we ran in 2017. There's a couple cool new features on here. Um, namely, what we're working with on the GoPro. So GoPro Link, you're gonna be able to pair your, uh, your GoPro camera to the boat via Wi-Fi. And then uh, anytime the boat goes above seven miles per hour, it's gonna start recording. Anytime the boat drops below seven, it stops. And then you can go through to your gallery and uh, save and delete various clips that you have. Um, you can save different GoPros in there if you'd like in your settings. Um, turn your auto record on or off. Um, and you can also switch your firing mode, either uh, video, picture, burst shot, all that on there, which is a pretty cool new feature for 18. Uh, everything else remained pretty much the same. You got uh, your surf settings or uh, home screen, whatever active preset you have is going to correspond with what you're seeing on the home screen. You've got your music, so Bluetooth, AM, FM, Sirius, Ready, um, Auxiliary, and USB for music. We've got our ballast screen with overhead where you can uh, do weight shift left to right. Um, docking lights, overhead lights under your speakers, all there. Rider presets, maps on this GS22. You can pull that up, obviously. The river is not on the map. Uh, but most main, uh, pretty much every major lake in the states will be on here. Um, to kill this now. Um, over on the right, you also have the switchboard. So, um, got your cubby on the left side here with the uh, phone holder. A couple charging ports up in there. Our premium steering wheel. So with the premium steering wheel, you get a nice finer uh, material on the on the steering wheel. Feels great. Looks good. Um, keyless ignition below the link screen over here. This particular boat is set up with uh, heated seats and a heater. So you've got the heated driver's seat and love seat, uh, defroster. At my feet down here, you're gonna see the pop-up, um, or the pop-out heater outlet there, as well as a, um, actually, the other one, I'm sorry, I was thinking it was behind the seat. The other one sits right here. So two at the driver's feet, but they both pop out. Um, let's look in our glove box. Got a shirt in there. Um, so phone holder, phone holder on the right side. New JL head unit, which is new for this year. So you'll see the different uh, iPhones you can pair in there. All this is accessible through the link screen, but uh, the JL head unit is super awesome. Um, you can scroll through this stuff with the dial, um, make make adjustments quickly on that. And then you've got a bunch of charging ports on the right side, USBs, 12 volts. You've got your aux input there, as well as uh, USB for music there. So all the different hookups for, for tunes and charging right there in that port on the glove box. Lastly, let's take a look at the bow. Actually, not lastly, we've got to look at the tower here. Um, nice open bow on the GS22, tons of space. This boat is incredibly comfy to sit in and the bow you can, uh, has plenty of room to stretch out and not be sitting on top of each other if you got a couple people up front. Uh, again, those JL Audio speakers up, up there in the bow with a couple of cup holders and grab rails. Um, storage wise, pop this open for you. You'll see we've got C-Deck finished throughout like all the other areas in the boat. And we got a couple boat fenders stored up in here because this is set up with the Fender Pro clips that lock in on uh, four different spots on the GS series. So one up at the front cleat and one towards the back. Close that up. Let's take one last look at the interior and I'll go over the tower real quick and we'll get some running footage for you guys. So 
Really love this thing with the Sahara sand. Um, just a unique look that you don't haven't seen on Nautiques uh, with this new sand color. Um, on the tower, we've got the rotating Nautique board racks. Um, they're nice and thick so you can fit bigger surfboards in there and they're fully coated as to not scratch your boards up as well. Speaker wise, we're rocking the JL 8.8 .8 tower speakers and anthracite finish. These also have the downward lighting on this bar right here. So we got a pair of those for killer sound. Nautique awareness cam also mounts up here on the tower. And that thing will kick on whenever you put the boat in neutral as a safety feature. And then we've got the Nautique Bimini top with surf pockets on here, obviously in the storage position at the moment. Uh, but uh, room for two more surfboards up on the roof of this thing. So, pretty much covers all the interior features on this GS22. Let's get some running footage at full ballast. And uh, just give us a call if you have any questions on anything.